All right, what we uh, need to do to fix this, uh, quite easy actually. Go to your edit, project settings, and your uh, script execution order. And then add your player. I already added it. Um, add your player. And then make sure it loads first uh, as first. So I, I got player, shooter, container in that order. And now when I hit uh, play, you see it updates my oh. now reload and when it's done it updates my my UI so that uh, works now um, now we need the uh, the inventory or I mean the uh, the amount of ammo from our inventory so let's open up our um, uh, let's see our reloader again. Weapon reloader. Now, um, let's remove this one, this line here. It's not really necessary anymore. Let's make a new uh, int field property. New member for our uh, rounds uh, remaining in inventory which will return our inventory. Uh, let's open up our inventory first to see what we have here. I believe we didn't... Uh, oh, we have a remaining in our uh, container item, yeah. So we can use that. Uh, I don't use it here, no. So we need to get the, um, so what we need to do, we need to get a reference to our container. Uh, we got the add function and take from container. Um, but let's make the uh, public int get amount remaining, where we take the system GUID and we reach, uh, we need to do this again, so let's make a private uh, container item, get container item, I know my Google Drive is low, the container item, uh, system do it ID, which will do this for us. Return no. And now we change this. Far uh, container item equals get container item ID. And we do the same thing for this part. And we say um, exactly the same thing. And then we say return container item uh, remaining. Again, I, I said I don't want to expose my container items uh, directly. I always want to use my container for it. Uh, so in our ammo counter, we have our int um, amount in inventory which is, uh, maybe we should get a reference to our uh, reloader. So let's say weapon reloader, reloader. And we say reloader equals this part. And Reload it. One ammo changed. Reloader. Um, Round remaining in inventory. Uh, we don't. We didn't implement it yet, so this should be 
our inventory. So back in our weapon reloader, inventory, uh, get amount remaining, and add our container item ID. There we go. So our amount of inventory equals that, and int uh, amount in clip equals reloader uh, rounds remaining in clip like so and now our text is going to be string format and it's going to take our amount in clip amount in inventory and uh, if you're if you don't exactly know what it means uh, you can add uh, like values here and you can write them in an indexed order like so so everything between the brackets zero is this one is the first one one is the second one uh, etc and you can easily write your uh, strings around it so maybe uh, I, I only for now I only need to do it like this but this is the way uh, you can easily write strings and put values at those positions okay um, let's see what happens and then we can conclude our, uh, this video if it works uh, oh oh yeah uh, we are expecting uh, we never gonna say this we always gonna say return container item because it will return null if the first or default which is default is null always returns something <laughs> should do it yeah okay now when we fire ah, now it's doing exactly the same thing get them out remaining mounting clip oh stupid me and two of the same uh, values here You probably saw that already. There we go. Reload it. Okay. So now we can see our weapons uh, inventory. Um, let's see. Yeah, we are forgetting one thing. If we change a weapon, at least I think, if I change a weapon, now it's switched to our uh, shotgun. You don't see the uh, inventory change. That's because we don't know the players has switched his weapon. So what we need to do in our ammo counter, we need to know when the player um, yeah, we, when we change our weapon we need to assign the uh, reloader again because that's a different reloader for a different weapon. So let's open up our, uh, I think we're going to use the, the active weapon. Um, so when we are switching, let's see where do we have it. I thought it was, oh yeah, in our player shoot. We have a, a switch weapon. So let's make an event here as well. Public event system action uh, action oh, capital system action Y on weapon switch and maybe let's uh, give our uh, active weapon then when we switch a weapon let's return our weapon so in switch weapon when we equip a weapon even better when we equip it we uh, say if on weapon switch not equals no on weapon switch uh, and our active weapon this is better because uh, in our Reloader, we have our active weapon here. So 
now we could say, um, let's see, uh, player should active weapon. Uh, I don't see it. Oh, it's on our player shoot, of course. One weapon switch. Let's make a uh, function here. Active weapon. And then we say um, active weapon plus is, uh, sorry, active weapon uh, reloader. So it's going to be this part on ammo chains, handle on ammo chains. Now, uh, let's see. We also need to know our reloader again because we are using it uh, here. So let's say reloader. Hmm. Reloader equals um, active weapon reloader. It's gonna get it's getting a little bit messy here, so we probably refactor this at a later point. Reloader, what I will change. Now the problem we have here. Let's first let's first just before we change anything here. Check this out. What happens? Okay, first off, we don't see the uh, we don't see the ammo change when the weapon gets equipped. Now, if we change our weapon and shoot, we see it change. We switch back, but we don't see it immediately. But so far, it, I reload the uh, assault rifle, I mean the uh, shotgun. And uh, this is the shotgun. So, the only thing, uh, what, what it doesn't do, is when we uh, switch, we don't really, uh, we don't update the, uh, the text. So, when we switch, we say, handle and on ammo changed which should update our in, uh, our, our UI. Well, it doesn't. Ah, when I switch my weapon, it does. So I shoot, I switch my weapon, and it turns to my assault rifle. So that does, it works. But it doesn't when we start, um, which I expected it to be. So let's just do it then here. Uh, handle on ammo changed when the player joined. Let's first get a more satisfaction of assault rifle by increasing our rate of fire a little bit. And increase our rate of fire for our shotgun. There we go. Error. Ah, yeah. Now we are trying to handle the on ammo change, but there is no reloader yet. So we need to wait for our weapon switch. Uh, let's check our player shoot. Our equip. Yeah. Okay, probably this is gonna. This is also because of a script execution order. So what we want to do, we first want to start our player shoot before the ammo counter gets uh, done. At least I hope this is it. So first we want our ammo counter, and after that we want, well maybe we do not really need to assign the player shoot. No. Maybe now. Maybe the wrong way around. I'm not really entirely sure here. No. 
now it's not doing anything at all. <laughs> okay. I'm not. Oh yeah, I need to switch my weapon. I'm sorry. I need to switch my weapon before we can see it. So let's check here. Our uh, player shoot. Shoot, equip a weapon. Uh, but I think weapon switch is still uh, no. So we first need our uh, ammo counter to... No, we first need our player shoot to get executed but let's let's just check it so let's say print uh, equip and in our ammo counter because this happens when our local player joins uh, print join now let's run it equip and join so first our Weapon is equipped, and after that, our ammo counter is uh, is uh, done. So let's add our ammo counter again here. Equip, and now the ammo counter isn't even run because it's uh, it was. Uh, First, the player gets done, and then our ammo counter is already uh, running, probably. So now it's equipped and run. And our player shoot. Join equip. There we go. So now the weapon is first. Uh, let's maybe change our maximum uh, ammo for our assault rifle so we can actually see 2120 2020 so this does exactly what we want uh, okay well that's it for uh, for this time we'll see you guys in the next video